Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to talk about trading under constant opportunity costs. Now for your reference, I'm using Robert Carbo's International Economics textbook and this is figure 2.1. So now suppose we have two countries, the US and Canada, and we only produce two goods, automobiles and wheat. So suppose US, if it use all its resources, it can produce either 120 automobiles and no wheat, or 60 bushels of wheat and no automobiles, or just any combination in between. Then we connect these two points, 120 autos and no wheat, and also that point that is 60 bushels of wheat and no automobile. We connect the two points, then we get the production possibility frontier, we call that PPF, or you can call that production possibility curve, that's PPC, it's the same thing. So we connect these two lines. And we can calculate the slope of this production possibility curve. Then there will be the rise over the run. So what is the rise from that point to that point? Well, the run really is negative 60 because we're moving down and we're moving to the right and therefore your run is 120. So the slope is negative 60 divided by 120 that gives you negative a half. What does that mean? That means in order to produce one auto, you have to sacrifice, that's why it's negative, sacrifice a half bushel of wheat. So you get it, the slope of the production possibility curve will give you the opportunity cost of the good on the horizontal axis in this case is the automobile. So the opportunity cost of an automobile in terms of wheat. So here the slope of the um, production possibility curve is negative a half. So that tells you the opportunity cost of one auto is a half bushel of wheat. Now we call that marginal rate of transformation, your MRT, is equal to the absolute value of your slope. So that's a half. That tells you the opportunity cost of producing one auto is a half bushel of wheat. Now moving on to Canada. In Canada, um, the textbook tells you that Canada can produce either 80 automobiles and no wheat or 160 bushels of wheat and no auto or any combination in between. So you connect the two points, you get the production possibility curve. Again, we can calculate the slope of this production possibility curve. Then that's 100, uh, sorry, negative 160 divided by 80, and that gives you negative 2. That tells you the opportunity cost of one auto is two bushels of wheat. And the reason why you see a negative sign, it tells you that, hey, you need to sacrifice two bushels of wheat in order to produce one automobile. So again, we call that marginal rate of transformation. That is just the absolute value of the slope of your production possibility curve. So in this video, I want you to remember is this. The marginal rate of transformation tells you, or you can say the um, slope of the production possibility curve tells you the opportunity cost of the good on the horizontal axis in terms of the good on the vertical axis. Because in your future examples, it's not always going to be auto and wheat. So you need to remember, marginal rate of transformation tells you the opportunity cost of the good on the horizontal axis in terms of the good on the vertical axis. Now, in the next video, we're going to see how two countries can both do better with trade. Now, I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.